So we've come out of a paddock um, and this is dry, so we'd measured lucerne on this property um, and the interesting thing was the resident pasture was growing some years six tonne, some years four tonne and the lucerne was growing two and a half times mm. that each year. Um, but what does that mean for, you know, how do you, how do you know when to go back into a paddock? How long does it take you to get round a rotation? How do you work that out? Yep. So we're, we're aiming about uh, that 35 days, um, works quite well for us. Um, and um, and obviously with uh, especially later on once it gets drier and um, we, we do have the capability of adjusting our stocking rate. So, so you can take yeah. some off if you need to as it's starting to, yep. to dry off. Yep. So because 12 um, hoggets is, is not huge stocking rate you know because they're, they're generally not twins yep. so I'd, you'd be expecting 100% lambing or 100% to tailing sort of thing. Yep. Yeah, so it's it's a you it's a hogget with a lamb, yep. um, and but each time you're trying to go in at about that 30 centimeters, is that your target? Yep, yep. And as as later on in the season, it um, it definitely starts to uh, when the um, you know in that summer period, it may be a little bit um, a little bit lower due to you know lack of um, rain, um, but uh, yeah, that just comes back to that visual assessment, um, and the I think the key is definitely to. Um, yeah, you definitely have to adjust it to keep it um, growing at 100%, you know. Yep, I definitely don't want to be overgrazing it. Right, so as it dries off and it doesn't grow so much, you're dropping some stocking rate at that yep. point. Tell me, um, so how long are the animals, so they've lambed on here, yep. how long are they staying on here in a rotation? Um, so they'll stay with their, um, uh, as a urine lamb for um, 100 days till that's our weaning date. Yep, so we're looking at uh, the first week of um, January usually, um, and that again lines up with our um, with the uh, part, uh, with the loosen growth as well. You know, it's starting to dry off by that January time, and it's time to um, move those um, ewes, ewes away from their lambs. Um, yeah, as the lambs just aren't you know getting enough from or you know getting that milk from their mum anymore. And, and have you thought about solely weaning earlier? Yes, yep, yep, definitely. It's just hard to fit it in with the other farming All system. the other stuff that's yep, happening. Yep. Right. But uh, it works about right, you know, 100 days there, there, there it's, we find that's a, the sweet spot for us. Yep. And so you take the ewes away, yep. and do you get a draft off the yep. the ewes at, the, at that point? Um, Are there lambs, the lambs to go? Right, yeah, 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 yeah. So we get, um, yep, so we're, we're getting about 30, uh, well, 20 to 30 percent off mum to the works. Okay. Yep. And we're killing them. We we do have the opportunity to kill them down to you know that uh, between that 34 and 32 kilos. Um, due to the uh, the lucerne, they 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 just yield so high. You know we're up in the um, you know high 40s, if not some just punching at 50. So. Right. So they've only eaten lucerne. Their rumen hasn't developed hugely. Their gut feels not so big in there. Yep. Their dressing out percentage is yep. quite high. Yep. Okay. So. Um, we've got 30% away, the hoggets have been taken away, I presume they go somewhere else. Do the, yep. do the lambs then come back onto the lucerne or what do we do with those others? Yep, so um, pretty much, and that comes back to that, um, that stocking rate adjustment at that time as we take the ewes away, they go on a rotation up the hill um, on, on, um, on different um, uh, feed and then the, the uh, lambs will stay on the lucerne um, and just end up going around in a rotation. We might split them into two mobs and just keep rotating them around. So these would be pretty big mobs at this stage? Yep, yep. What sort of size are we talking about? Oh, I'm looking at, um, you know, you might be a 1,500 to 2,000 kind of thing. And yep. there's no problems with that? They're just, no, they're, they've been eating it, so they just keep eating it? Yep, yep. We find they, as soon as you take the mother away, they, they actually, you get that real lift as well. You know, they're not competing with the ewe um, for what's there. Um, yeah, so we, we find that we, um, we'll be doing another lamb kill, you know, it might be three weeks after kind of thing, right. back into them again, and it will be, um, generally, it'll be a fortnightly kill. So okay. Yep, yep. And um, I, that competition thing is one of the reasons I was mentioning potentially weaning earlier. Some of the people using Lucerne are weaning at 80, 85 days, but yep. it's got to fit in with the other farm yep. systems and things that you're doing. Um, so the, the hoggets are going away. Um, tell me... What condition are they in? So we're, we're trying to, you know, they're raising a lamb and they're trying to grow themselves. How, yep. how are they doing? So what, what we've, we've found as well, um, just purely having so much good quality feed, they, um, the, the ewe will be growing as well. 
they, you know, we're at weaning, they're in, you know, body condition of four probably. Right, yeah. so they're in great they're, condition. They're, it's time to come off the loose and they're just in such great condition, you know. Um, we actually find that they're almost, yeah, two fat, you know. So they must condition. be getting close to their mature weight as, yep. as two tooths. Yep, so we're, we're probably weaning them at 70 kilos. Right, yep. okay. Yeah, yep. and, um, but, uh, and then, and it works out really well, you know, we wean them, they're, they're in a really good condition, they're, they're completely fully grown out, um, and they go, um, they'll go up the hill, uh, and they'll actually probably lose it, uh, you know, drop a little bit, but, but become quite a healthy body condition, um, and it actually lines up really well with us being able to flush them for, as a, um, as this, um, second mating as a tutu. Yep, so actually we're able to um, really lift them in that autumn period as well. Okay, mm. so um, the lambs, they're going around here and you said you've got to cull every couple of weeks. Yep. And um, so do they all get finished? So the, yep. off the hoggets, they're basically yep. um, lambs so slaughtered, there's no... Yep, um, and, and but yes, yeah, it's um, uh, weather dependent as well. We have that we have in the past, um, if it's a bit dry or something, we just have to adjust that stock, stocking rate. And um, and we just will um, sell a few stores just to keep them, keep the rest of the rest of them going, keep the cover at appropriate level. Great.